everyone. Just wanted to get a video of what we're doing in the garden today. Um, I want to do a back to Eden garden, but we kind of have to prepare the soil. We got a late start this year. And so we're trying to prep it and hopefully we'll have a great garden next year. So right now I am, uh, we, we've really got to amend the soil. It's filled with clay and I'm using this stuff, Bear River Zeolite. Um, what it does is it's like this, you can see some on the ground right here. Um, it's like this gray powdery, I think it's actually volcanic rock. And you till it into the ground, you can probably just sprinkle it on top of the ground too. I'm not quite sure about that, you can research it. But you till it into the ground and it helps to uh, absorb any water and nutrients and it holds it for the plant and releases it to the plants as it need it, needs it. So I wanted to show you the comparison. This garden over here, uh, those are just kind of in our way, we're moving them around. But um, this is our melons. They're growing really well. And I used the zeolite over here before I planted. And so here's a little melon. And uh, let's see, where's another one? There's a little melon. I don't know if you can see it very well. Yeah, there it is. Um, some of them have a lot of melons on them. This one right here has three or four melons. And when this is our, I'll show you our biggest one. This is our biggest one so far. It's doing really well. And then if you look over here at the cantaloupe type melons, look at all the blooms on there. Now the other day I came out and there were, I don't know, maybe a dozen little yellow butterflies all over these. And the watermelon too. So they're all uh, very well pollinated and growing really well. But I used the zeolite on this side of the garden with the watermelon and the cantaloupe before I planted them and they're doing really well and I still need to add fertilizer and wood chips and all that so we're just kind of doing I want to do a back to Eden garden but <laughs> we're just doing what, what we can right now and um, amend the soil and everything and we'll do better next year so we're about to till this the okra it, it was planted before the zeolite so you can see I sprinkled some on the ground there and um, it's actually, it's not growing very well. It's doing just like the peppers and tomatoes did. It's not growing very tall. There's just so much clay in this soil, nothing grow. I mean, the roots can't really spread out and it just doesn't grow very tall. But we did harvest one okra off of this plant today. You wanna go get that, bring it to me? I'll show it to you here in just a second. We got one, and this is a Clemson spineless which I believe is probably the most common kind, like when you go buy some in the grocery store. They're pretty good. And uh, all the okra around the perimeter of the garden here, um, I mean, it's healthy. It looks healthy. It's just not growing very big. But they're all starting to produce. We've only harvested one so far, but there's several that'll be ready probably this week. So, we're working on that. And here is our first okra that we harvested. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, you can eat it now. And we got about a dozen more uh, cherry tomatoes. So, um, anyway, that's what the garden looks right now. Hmm? Is it good? <laughs> I promised Jayla I wouldn't put her on video, but she loves okra and tomatoes and all that. So, we love raw okra. I think I mentioned that in another video. We'll eat it raw all day long. Anyway, so this garden is just the uh, tomato plants. If you look over here, these tomato plants. Um, most of them didn't produce. I don't even know if you can see them. <laughs> I can't really see them on my viewfinder. But um, I don't know. They just didn't produce very well. These right here, the black cherries, they produce the most. But they just look so pitiful. <laughs> They look really sad. So we went ahead and harvested the rest of them. We're going to till this up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Hey, -o. oh, <laughs> this is Millie. Hi, Millie.
Okay, it has been several hours overnight since the first part of this video. And just overnight, some of the okra is in bloom now. It bloomed up really pretty. I like that. And then there's another really pretty one over here on some red okra. Isn't that beautiful? And uh, let's see, that one is bowling red. That one's called bowling red. And it's really dark red. I, I can't wait to see what the okra looks like. I haven't had that kind before. And some of our squash also is in more bloom. You can't really see it from here. So the reason it's been several hours is because all those tall weeds, they uh, and there were probably some other stuff in there, it got caught in the tiller. And we got it all out last night, but then it was getting dark. So I decided to finish up this morning. But it was actually, there was a wire and a piece of rope hidden in these weeds. We don't even use wire out here, and I don't think we had any rope out here, so I don't know where it came from. But anyway, this is what we managed to finish this morning. And then it ran out of gas on me. I had one strip left. This is one strip right here. That's it. And I was done. And uh, gave out on me. But I just wanted to show you real quick what this looks like when it's all tilled in. And I'll probably go over it again, too, because it's just, uh, well, you know, needs some cleaning up. But this, if you can see, I can't really see it well on my camera. You can probably see it on the video if I hold it really still. See the little gray specks? That's what the uh, zeolite looks like when it's tilled in. And so, you know, it'll be, it'll be uh, kind of spread out for all of the roots in your garden plants to reach. So, um, yeah, I know some of you are probably cringing watching the tiller till up the ground. And I would have to a few months ago, but really, we really needed to amend this soil. And I think it's gonna do so much better with the zeolite. And I did uh, a few weeks ago put some, uh, what is it called? <laughs> Brain fart. Um, Epsom salt in here. Uh, peppers and tomatoes are supposed to do really well with that. I think it might have helped a little bit, but I mean the soil is just not very good. Weeds grow well in it, but that's about it. And so anyway, you can see my okra much better now. There's still weeds out behind it, but you can see the okra plants better. And it does look a lot better, but I still got to do this one strip and then want to go over it a second time. But that's enough for this video, I think. I just wanted to just show you to show you what it looks like once you get the zeolite applied and till it in and uh hopefully i can post an update in a few months maybe in the springtime when we have some really great plants growing and hopefully they'll get taller than that my okra is already starting to produce and it's not even maybe a foot tall some of it might be a little bit taller but i've never had okra this short before and it's producing it's just so weird so yeah i'm just gonna blame it all on the soil and we'll just do what we can to amend it and uh I'm hoping that we won't need to till it anymore. We'll just get some fertilizer, some you know compost and and uh, wood chips on top, and then be good to go. And I'd like I'd like to get some more chickens too, but we need to we need to get a better uh, coop for them. We recently lost some, so we need to have a more secure place for them to stay uh, before we can get some more. But we want them to work the ground over the winter. So there's some more blooms that weren't here yesterday my squash. My corn's looking kind of pitiful. Huh, I don't know if it's going to produce or not. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, the Four Sisters mounds that I did, they did not have any zeolite on it because I already had those planted before I did the melon, all the watermelons and cantaloupe. So, you know, if you notice, they're kind of small too. So I really do think that that zeolite is helping because the, the melons are growing really well. They've just been here a little over a month. And we've got quite a few. I think I may have to pick off some of these, some of these flowers over here because they're all gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna have a whole bunch, but they're all gonna be tiny. So I may pick off some of those flowers. And I guess that's it. So there you go. I, I really, so far, I really recommend zeolite. It seems to be really good. And I'll have to research to see how often you need to apply it. But um, I got one 50 pound bag for about I think half of the garden is 
like 24 by 24. So I got two bags. That, that, that side over there took one whole bag, a 50 pound bag. About 24 by 24. Um, and I forget how, exactly how much it recommended, but that was pretty close. So I just used one bag per half. So anyway, all right, well, thanks a lot, you guys. Uh, if y'all learned anything, please subscribe and comment. Tell me what else you want to see. I don't have a whole lot going on yet. Um, so maybe you can help me with ideas, uh, what to do, and not just what to video, but what we can do here on our homestead with not much money. We just don't have <laughs> the means to do a whole lot right now, but we're working on it slowly but surely. So we're doing what we can, but if you can comment, um, ask me questions or help me with ideas or whatever, um, like my videos, share my videos, because, uh, you know, we don't want to be like rich and famous, but we do want to grow our homestead and we want your help for that. So if y'all could help with that, that would be awesome. Thanks a lot. Y'all have a great day.